situation, uh, the side effects for me was pretty minimal. It was uh, some skin discoloration, uh, just mild discomfort on my chest and my my blood counts were uh, went, went down as well. I think it was my white blood cells, it went down. There was a time that it went down, so that was pretty much it. And then as for chemotherapy, um, of course the obvious one is hair loss. And um, I think from the, it depends on the type of chemotherapy you're getting. I, from the first line chemotherapy, uh, I gained weight. There was some weight gain because of the high dose steroids that I was getting. So, you know, I, we all know that, you know, as cancer patients, it's like a common misconception that most chemos will make you, you know, lose weight and look thin and frail. But actually for that, because of the steroids, it made me gain weight. And yeah, uh, the blood counts will go down. And there's a lot of GI issues, mostly for me, for the first line chemotherapy, it was constipation and heartburn. And just generalized weakness and fatigue as well. And for the stem cell transplant, I had a, a, a lot of severe reactions to it. Um, like all the hair of my body was gone. I lost all the hair, including the eyebrows. Like with the Verdo team was there, but I didn't lose my eyebrows. But with the stem cell transplant, like literally everything not, was gone, like not a strand was left. And and uh, my blood counts was way, way down. There was a week that I needed to have, like each day of the week, I needed to have a blood transfusion. And then I had um, uh, hyperpigmentation. And then also my skin was peeling my fingernails, like after a month, I think my fingernails started to come come off and I also had uh, liver issues with the stem cell transplant like my, my bilirubin and my liver enzymes went way up and what else yeah uh, see, I had a lot of uh, weight loss uh, when I had my stem cell transplant I think I lost uh, 30 pounds when I was in the hospital and um, oh yeah uh, and because that was mainly because of the mouth sores and I couldn't eat because it was, the mouth sores just hurt so much. So that I don't eat mouth sores or mucositis. So I think that's one of the biggest side effects you have to look out for when you go in for a stem cell transplant. 